Now we are going to discuss another really interesting phenomena related to sound. Okay, and for that, I'll have to call an ambulance. No, nobody's sick. Let's just call an ambulance, okay? And you can hear the ambulance now, right? Listen to that. Cool? And if this ambulance starts moving past me, did you hear that? Something just changed. Was it the loudness? Now let's take the ambulance once again. Okay, and see, or rather listen, to what happens as it comes closer to the listener, which is you or me, right? What happened? The shrillness of the sound became more, right? It became more shriller. The pitch sort of increased, didn't it? And now when it is just standing there, there's no increase in the pitch. There's no increase in the shrillness. Now let's make it move to the other side. What did you observe? The shrillness now has decreased. It has become less shrill. It has become calmer in a way, right? Let's see what happens. So the source gives out waves in this way, right? So all those circles which you see are the wave fronts. Now the wave fronts are moving, okay? And as the source starts moving towards the listener, this is what happens. Can you see that? The wave fronts which are in front of the source, that is the wave fronts which are in the direction in which the source is moving, they bunch up together and the wave fronts which are in the other direction they stretch out right because of which this listener is now getting those wave fronts at a faster rate and he would claim that the frequency has increased one more thing which we need to keep in mind is this velocity of these wave fronts the speed of these wave fronts as observed by the listener is not going to change right because the listener itself is not moving and once the waves are given off in the medium the motion of the source doesn't matter because the speed of these waves is a property of the medium. So as the source moves, the wave fronts do not inherit the velocity of the source, right? They have a defined velocity for a medium. And because the listener is also not moving, the listener will also observe or listen to these waves or these wave fronts at the same speed, moving at the same speed, right? So he would say that the waves are coming at me with the same speed. But what has happened is that they have bunched up together. So they're coming to me more frequently. Or in a way, the wavelength, that is the difference between these two crests, any two crests, consecutive crests, has decreased. And if the wavelength decreases and the speed remains constant, what happens? The frequency increases. So he would see an increase in frequency. For more videos and live lectures on the JEE, click on the subscribe button now.